Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to construct a basic web table. So I'm over at the website for Health and Human Services, and they've got a good example of a very simple table. Um, it's got a it's got a couple of a uh, call span. It's got a couple of call span cells, and it's got this nice little hover effect, which changes color for the particular row that I'm on. But I like it because it's a good example that web tables, which is an old HTML web development tool, um, still have relevancy, and they can still be a useful way to display tabular data. Nothing fancy that needed, and they're not really that complicated. So I do have a page already started. And in the body of the page, what I want to do is construct my table. It doesn't matter how many tables you have on your web page, each table needs a set of table tags. Now, even though I'm only going to make one table, I'm going to give this a class. And I'll just call it a standard table, thinking that this web page could contain multiple tables, as the Health and Human Resources does. So they have several tables, all styled the same way. So this would allow us to do so. Now, when you're constructing your table in between the opening and closing table tags, you're going to have a set of TR tags or table row tags for every row on the table. And so if I look back at our example here, there's a row right up here at the top for that heading. Then there's another row that contains these two cells. That's two. There's three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So obviously, we can just keep repeating the number of rows. And then within each row, you want to indicate the number of cells. So for instance, this first row up here that has 2021 poverty guidelines, that has one cell in it. And you can write cells in two different ways. So within our first row, we could have a TD tag, a set of TD tags, which is table data. That creates a cell. However, this is a special row, so we're going to use a set of th tags, which is table header or table heading. And uh, there's only one cell in that first row. And now if I copy this first row, and now I've made a second row, I do believe our second row has two cells. So that's going to be two sets of th tags. There we go. And now when we get to our third row, our third row well, it could also be a table header too. It could be done either way. I'll assume it's not a table header and it's a standard cell, but you notice there's only one cell in that row. So for that third cell, or third row I mean, I'll have one TD tag. There we go. And then we get a little bit of repetition. Each of the subsequent rows has two cells each. It doesn't really, how, you know, it doesn't really matter how many of these we do. We'll get the idea. Copy that paste and paste, but of course there's two cells each. There we go. I'll just do those first few. Now I can also tell my first row and my third row that only have one cell, those cells are a little bit special. They're spanning multiple columns. Specifically, they're spanning two columns. So call span equals two for the first cell first row first cell and the third row first cell. And that's pretty easy to write in. So I just go to these cells that only have, or these rows that only have one cell, and I can write call span equals two. And there's another one right there. Call span equals two. Perfect. That's really all we need for our HTML. Now I know I don't have any content in there, and maybe I'll throw some content in really quick. But for the most part, that is the structure of our table. In fact, before I check this out in my browser, I'm going to go ahead and pause my recorder and just put in some filler content. There we go. So now I've got some content in my table cells. Notice my content goes in between the opening and closing TH tags or the opening and closing TD tags. How is this looking on my page here? Well, there we go. There's my table. Everything's really tiny, but I'll go ahead and fix that very, very quickly. So let's see. Back over to the styles now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take my standard table and I'll set the font size on it to uh, 2M. So it's going to be really big and it'll really stand out to us. And you'll see, okay, that text is a lot bigger, a lot more noticeable. Great. Now let's start to style some particular sections of it. Dot standard table space THs. The table header cells, I want to give them a different background color and I'll just choose a light shade of yellow there. Now I'm also going to do text transform uppercase. I noticed all of that text was in uppercase before. 
there we go. So you can kind of see where those cell boundaries are with that background color. And I think I'll go ahead and dot standard table TD. I don't really want to do too much with this. Um, it should just look relatively normal. So I'm pretty happy with that. But um, so I think I'll leave that rule there. But I am going to do this dot standard table TDs comma dot standard table THs. And I'm going to give all of these a thin border. Um, one pixel solid and something dark. And you're going to see that that'll apply that border. But the borders are kind of doubled up where the cells meet. I can head up to the rule for my standard table and put in something like border collapse, collapse. And that's going to allow those cells to share the borders. So this really stands out. It looks a little bit easier to read. We'll go ahead and put some padding on these cells of 0.4M. It's pretty big padding, but we'll be able to appreciate the size there. And I think the last thing we'll do on this, just to kind of get that effect, is that hover effect on the row. And that's not too bad either. We'll simply go to our standard table, tr colon hover. When we hover over a row, let's change the background color to a bright yellow just so it stands out to us. And now when I hover over any of these rows, we're going to get that bright background color change. So there you go. So that's our basic use of table tags. We didn't use all of the table tags available to us, by the way. Um, I've used table, table row, table header, table data, but there are a few others if your table is a little bit bigger and needs a little bit more structure and style to sections of it. Thanks for hanging out with me.